Here in Georgia, the state now recorded 2,271 new COVID-19 cases just in the past 24 hours. That brings our total to more than 195,000. So far, there have been more than 3,800 coronavirus-related deaths here in Georgia, and more than 1,919,000 1 people have been hospitalized since the start of the pandemic. Despite those rising numbers, some educators will still have to report to classrooms even when their students attend virtually. That is the situation right now in Gwinnett County, which is putting some teachers in a tough bind. CBS 46's Brittany Edney is live outside Gwinnett County Public Schools headquarters with Brittany some of the problems that they're facing. Some Gwinnett County educators tell me that they're actually scared about going back into the classrooms in person. And while the school district said back on July 20th that some accommodations would be made if teachers put in requests for work for homes with their principals, other teachers tell me that those requests, well, they're not being responded to. In fact, they are being denied. Gwinnett County students won't be starting their first day of school back in the classroom. And one educator won't either, after her request to work from home was denied. Instead of lesson plans, she's now trying to figure out how she'll support her family. We all want to be back in the building, but it's not safe yet. And until it's safe, no one should be expected to be in the building. If the students can complete all of their work digitally, the teachers should as well. Ashley Noel Newman taught fifth grade for five years for GCPS, a job she loves but says she shouldn't have to choose over taking care of her four-year-old child, explaining many other educators are in a similar position because she says the district is not granting work-from-home requests. Those that have, you know, that are immunocompromised with family members they care for that are immunocompromised, those who are parents of children who are special needs and those of us who are parents of children with that are age four and under. With the first day of school quickly approaching, Newman says others will soon have to make similar tough decisions. We want to continue to support our students and families without risking the health of our own. I reached out to the school district and asked if any teachers were being allowed to work from home. I didn't get a very clear answer about that. Was only told that teachers should reach out to first their principal and then their HR. And after that, the district did talk a little bit about the different leave options that were available for educators. But underneath all of those that I received, I didn't see one single example that um, discussed work from home. Now I'm going to have that full response on our website from the district. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.